For purpose, the gentleman from California rise. Clerk will report. Amendment offered by Mr. Garamendi of California, page 26, line 18, after the dollar amount, insert increase by $329 million. Page 29, line 21, after the dollar amount, insert reduced by $329 million. Gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I offer this amendment together with Mr. Polis. We've heard discussion uh, repeatedly about the value of science. But if we back up a few moments, we also need to understand our values as representatives of this nation. There's been an interesting subset of uh, debates here over the last several uh, hours. And on the one hand, it's the issue of we must maintain our nuclear weapons superiority. And the committee has taken up that value, that goal, and has put a lot of money into that area while moving money out of the science. We, unfortunately, the committee couldn't take a larger view of the overall budget uh, and the appropriations and deal with perhaps the fact that we're spending $82 billion in Afghanistan this year and maybe move some of that money over into these accounts, but that wasn't possible. But if you stand back and take a look at what has happened uh, throughout the course of this day, you'll see that there have been repeated efforts on the part of the Democrats to rebuild the science and the research budget of the United States. Uh, this appropriation bill simply decimates that budget, that critical investment in today and tomorrow and in the economy of the future. Our ability to deal with climate change, our ability to deal with energy are just stripped, gutted, and actually set aside as a result of, the of this appropriation bill. The Office of Efficiency and Renewable Energy, a $2 billion reduction, 73%. ARPA-E, the subject of this amendment, a $329 million reduction, an 87 percent reduction. The Office of Science, 25,000 researchers across this nation are likely to be laid off. Thousands of research projects will simply not be funded. They will simply die on the vine. The Office of Electricity uh, Delivery Energy Reliability, an $80 million reduction. It goes on and on. This is so backward. This is so backward. What this nation needs to do is to build its research capabilities, build its science. We do not need to build more bombs. But yet that's what we are doing here. This amendment replaces the $329 billion million dollar cut to the ARPA-E program, a program that has actually created many new opportunities, which my colleagues will be discussing here in the next few moments, but, an, uh, but a program based upon the Defense Department's DARPA, e pro DARPA program that has, through arguments that we've heard over the last several hours, developed extraordinary technology that has now found its way into the world's economy, for example, the Internet. We really must restore this money, and we must restore the science budget and research budget for the Office uh, for Energy, for the Department of Energy. We can't fail. If it's a choice between building more nuclear weapons and replacing our nuclear weapons or creating tomorrow's economy, it's a simple choice. But this bill doesn't do that. It deals with yesterday. Yes, we're going to need nuclear weapons, but not 5,000, 500 of them. We don't need to rebuild all of them. We don't need to spend $7.7 .7 billion on that enterprise while gutting the research and the science future of this nation. I yield my remaining, I uh, yield back. The gentleman yields back. For what purpose does the gentleman from Colorado rise?